G'day folks, I'm Beanie and you are watching a, another Beanie Draws video. This time I'm drawing a Triceratops. This is a brief process drawing of how I went about drawing a Triceratops using a reference image from one of the latest Jurassic World TV trailer spots. So I'm putting in its um, basic shapes, such as like the tail and the frill and the horns and its beak. Interesting, yeah, Triceratops had beak. Um, putting in its arms and its legs. This is basically a compositional sketch. But because it's straight from the trailer, the trailer already has the um, the image set as it is, so I don't have to you know go over and over on the compositions, uh, compositional sketches like I normally would. Normally a compositional sketch would take, I don't know, depends on how much I like the image, I guess. Sometimes you maybe two or three sketches, sometimes, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get the composition right, so it takes about ten goes, and each compositional sketch, they're, like, very, very quick, like, what I'm doing right now in this image is already putting in the detail, so I'm quite happy with how the composition looks, but, like, you can see in the arms and, well, the legs and the tail, and before putting in the detail and the frill, that is what I would call a compositional sketch, you just put in, like, a kind of a, a fleshed out stick figure and then once you like your fleshed out stick figure that's when you are putting your details like what I'm doing right now the spikes around its frill uh, putting some detail in its cheekbones and its a nose horn um, right now this is just basically put in the lines building it up bit by bit some bits I want to put in darker lines for darker contrasting shapes and sometimes I just want to put in some details in the uh, textures. Because this drawing only took about 30 minutes I wasn't focusing on putting in details such as scales which I normally would. Instead I'm focusing on sort of the impression of detail, the impression of skin textures and the impression of tone and shading. So I've put the shadow underneath the horn, putting a little bit more detail in its face. Uh, now I'm detailing out the uh, spikes a bit more. Doing these little beady eyes, because the Triceratops in this movie seems to have little tiny beady eyes, kind of like a rhinoceros or an elephant. Um, putting in, uh, trying to build up the shape and the form of the Triceratops's uh, frill, putting in uh, sort of textures of its, like kind of like the patterns in its skin. Um, you'll notice that some reptiles have uh, textured, well, think of it like a snake. You've seen snakes and how they're, um, They've got patterns along their skins. Some some uh, other patterns can be very, you know, very intense and dynamic. Some of their uh, patterns are rather more subtle. So this Triceratops, I'm going for a kind of a subtle uh, texture. I'm putting its rendering in its legs to give it a bit of a three-dimensional depth. I'm using the source image to kind of gather where the light would come from, and here you can see right now that I'm putting in those little tiny details of texture and pattern, like I was mentioning before, like snakeskin. Filling out the tail, putting in its uh, rendering on its lower side to make it look three-dimensional. Putting in more detail in its line work, building it up gradually bit by bit. Putting in little uh, uh, layers of uh, rendering. The way I, I draw these things is like, I put detail when I need to put in detail, and then I'll just like, well, this little area needs a bit of a flesh out of um, tone, so I'll put a layer of, light layer of lead, build it up to build up shadow, like there. And then I want to put in like, you know, some details in the folds of the skin, like there. Build up more rendering. Then I put in the shadow, like here, building it up a little bit layer by layer. Um, 
Yeah, so you can kind of get an idea of how I'm building up the the shading, building it up a little bit layer by layer. Actually, when you kind of watch it like this, it's kind of like watching a printer working in a way. You see the printer putting in line by line. So that's kind of what I'm doing with the um the rendering here. This is sped up, obviously, but that's the same kind of principle, just building it up bit by bit. Almost like a painting, really. I'm using my um my pencil as if it is a paintbrush, and actually, just for the just for some uh, information, the pencil that I'm using is a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil because I prefer I prefer drawing with mechanical pencils rather than the traditional wooden pencil. So, what that that little bit of shading right there is meant to in the, it's meant to be like the shoulder and the head. And I'm getting it uh, blending and transitioning, hopefully fairly smoothly. Putting in the details more in its body, putting shadows where I think the shadows should fall. And, oh, sorry, just knocked the, the uh, microphone there. That leg is obviously meant to be a bit darker, so I've built up the uh, shadow because it's a lot more in the darkness. And there's only really so much detail you can do in a 30 minute drawing, I mean... If I was going to spend another hour or so on this drawing, there'd be a lot more detail in it. Like, I'd be putting in all the scales, putting in all the folds in its uh, in its skin along its frill, like like I'm doing now, but I'd be doing it in a more intense layer. Um, this is a really good example right here of what I meant by putting in the patterns and textures to indicate the illusion of detail, the um, the impression of detail, not necessarily focusing 100% on, de on detail using the shading and rendering and that to build up detail rather than using lines to build up detail. So yeah, I'm putting in extra little bits of um, key details for the mouth and the horns, building up its arms. At this point I'm thinking it's looking really good, I'm quite happy with the results and I hope you like what you see here, it's a very quick drawing probably do more of these in the future so if you like this if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it um give it a thumbs down i guess i'm sorry if you didn't like it but if you did please subscribe and i will be doing even more videos like this so thank you for watching and uh catch you next time